Namaskar. It's not often that I get to sit outside on my swing. It's summer now in Silicon Valley and it's a gorgeous day. Um, I just wanted to share my thoughts on the resolution passed by Fremont Congressman Ro Khanna for giving exemption from CATSA sanction to India for having purchased the S 400s from Russia. Sorry for a long, long title, but I just wanted to share some thoughts on this. It is um, a mix of reality, politics and also uh, somebody trying to get some brownies out of this. We know that Ro Khanna represents a constituency that has perhaps 25 to 28 percent Hindu population, um, but maybe 20 percent Muslim population plus uh, Hispanics and whites and so on. It is a fairly mixed neighborhood, Fremont. And he might have seen that Rajakrishnamurthy uh, trounced his nearest democratic rival by a fairly convincing margin. And now, Ro Khanna has Ritesh Tandon to deal with. And Ritesh is a pro Hindutva person. He does not try to make any apologies about it. So now, perhaps Ro Khanna is thinking, well, I need to do something pro India so that I can assert my pro India credentials. Remember, the same Ro Khanna had some very interesting things to say about uh, Hindu and Hindutva. In fact, it was his statement that was then amplified perhaps by Rahul Gandhi saying that Hindu is uh, Gandhi and Hindutva is Godse, totally opposite things. Uh, Ro Khanna had put a similar kind of a connotation a few uh, years before. The important thing here is that Ro Khanna has definitely got a political win. He has also established his credentials as somebody who is pro-India. Uh, suddenly they remember all these things when they feel like their uh, race is going to be quite tight. But it is a good thing for India. Now, that is one side, but this is just the first step. There are many things that need to happen that will have to go India's way and Joe Biden, the president, has to sign saying that yes, India is exempted from the CATSA sanction. So that is still a long way to go, but in, just take it for, um, for now that it is in the right direction. Okay? So it, whenever it happens, it will happen. Now, let us take a look at the other side. Is it true that Russia may not have been able to supply S 400s? And why do I say this? Because it is believed, again, this is, again, th this is a regime that does not have any transparency, so we do not know. It is believed that the technological czars of Russia told Putin that they have everything they need to build S 400s. In fact, the high tech chips that go into the S 400 circuitry. Well, it turns out that uh, the last fab, semiconductor fab that Russia constructed was with the East German help. I am thinking 1980s, 90s. So, it is several generations behind what today's technology is, especially being deployed in fabs like TSMC. So, it is believed that Russia used to get all its chips for the more advanced armaments from Taiwan. Now that there are sanctions imposed on Russia, Taiwan can no longer sell these chips to Russia. So, even if Russia wants to send S 400s to India, perhaps they may not be able to build any new S 400 systems because there are no chips. But this reality, perhaps the US has figured it out and they said, well, anyway, these guys are not going to be able to use them. Why not make use of this opportunity and make it look as if the US is pro India? See, this is the problem. Now, India may not be able to make any political mileage out of this and uh, at the same time, US has got a, a good guy um, certificate from everybody. So, interesting dynamics at play. Will this play out the way we expected? That is, India gets the CATSA sanctions removed for buying S 400s and India can then continue to build on the quad relationship that has just gotten started. Unfortunately, the person who dreamed it, who visualized it is no more with us, Shinzo Abe. Uh, but at the same time, the goal is, is very clear that quad needs to be a counterbalance to China's ambitions in Indo-Pacific region. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and do not forget to click on the bell button for notifications. 
If you think you like our programs, you can show your appreciation by clicking on the super thanks button and donating as much as you think it is right. Namaskar.